Hello, my seventh grader. This is Teacher Fida with you, and I hope that you all doing fine and in a good health. Today, we are going to continue and uh, with the present continuum the, from module six, your student book, page sixty-nine from your action pack book, and this is video number two, video part two of the present continuum. Uses. In this video, I'm going to explain the uses of the present continuum. So, the uses. Use number one. We use the present continuous one for an action or event happening at or around the time of speaking. للأفعال أو الأحداث التي تحدث وقت الحديث عنها. For example, he is talking on the phone now. الآن في هذه اللحظة هو يتكلم عبر الهاتف أو يتكلم بالهاتف. So, we talked about him that he is talking on the phone and the action talking is happening at the time that we are talked about it. يحدث فعل التكلم مع الهاتف بنفس الوقت الذي تحدثنا عنه. Number two. For temporary states in the present. الحالات المؤقتة في الزمن الحاضر. Peter is looking for a job. <coughs> Peter يبحث عن عمل. Now, looking for a job. البحث عن العمل هو ليس شيء دائم. هو شيء مؤقت. Meaning, you know, after a while, I'm going to find a job. بعد فترة سوف أجد العمل. So, looking for a job is something temporary. شيء مؤقت. Number three. For future actions related to personal arrangements, the time is mentioned. للأفعال المستقبلية المتعلقة بالترتيبات الشخصية ويتم ذكر الوقت في هذه الحالة. I'm giving a party tonight. سوف أقوم بعمل حفلة الليلة. So, here, this indicates the future. Tonight is <clears throat> not now. We said that we use the present continuous to talk about things that is happening at the moment of speaking <clears throat> or around the time of speaking. تحدث في وقت التحدث عن هذا الفعل أو around the time. But when we use this, it's use number three for a relay future actions related to personal arrangement. At least we call it as fixed arrangement. نحن نقوم بجميع الترتيبات ولكن الفعل لن نقوم به الآن سوف نقوم به بعد فترة. For example, um, I'm leaving to France. أنا سوف أسافر إلى فرنسا. When I use the present continuous to talk about me leaving to France, عندما استخدمت المضارع المستمر للتحدث عن السفر إلى فرنسا This means I made all the arrangements قمت بجميع الترتيبات I booked the ticket حجزت التذكرة I packed my bags رتبت حقائبي And I did everything that I have to do فعلت جميع التراتيب أو الأشياء التي يجب علي عملها before leaving to France, all I have to do is to go to the airport. يعني لم يبقى علي سوى الذهاب إلى المطار. So here we use um, pers for um, future actions related to personal arrangements. Now, number four. For annoying repeated actions with adverbs of frequency, such as always and continually. And sometimes forever, we use forever. للأفعال المتكررة وهذه الأفعال المتكررة مزعجة ونستخدم هنا ظروف التكرار. الأشياء ظروف التكرار مثل always and continually بشكل مستمر أو دائما. He is always talking in class. دائما يتحدث خلال الدروس أو خلال الحصص. And this something when I use always, this means it's 
continuing متكرر شيء تكرر and it's annoying talking in the class is annoying لحد تحد خلال الدرس أو في الحصة هو شيء شيء مزعج so the uses of the present continuous <coughs> number one for action for events happening at or around the time of speaking الأفعال التي تحدث في نتحدث عنها في وقت حدوثها We're talking about this action while it's happening خلال حدوثه نحن نتحدث عنه She is talking on the phone now She is sleeping at the moment She is having uh, lunch at the moment or now For a temporary state or at the present هي الحالات المؤقتة في الزمن الحاضر Peter is looking for a job Nancy is staying at my house these days. هذه الأيام Nancy سوف تقوم um, بالبقاء في في منزلنا. For a future action related to personal arrangements, the time is mentioned. للأفعال المستقبلية المتعلقة بالترتيبات الشخصية ويتم ذكر الوقت في هذه العادة في هذه الحالة. I'm giving a party tonight. I'm meeting Linda tonight. I'm having um, a baby shower tomorrow. For annoying, number four, for annoying repeated action with adverbs of frequency, such as always and continually. We use the ظروف uh, التكرار. نستخدم في هذه الحالة ظروف التكرار للتحدث عن الأفعال المتكررة والمزعجة. تكررت فأصبحت مزعجة. She is always taking, talking in class. He, oh, he, uh, he, um, he always um, forgetting his keys. He's always forgetting his keys. دائما ما ينسى uh, مفاتيحه. Now here is also um, the uses, but uh, I put it in a diagram. So I'm just going to read them. For um, unfinished actions, now, I'm working at the moment. We always use here now and at the moment. For a temporary situation or a temporary habit, العادات والحالات المؤقتة. I'm living in London. Or she is eating a lot these days. وهنا أيضا, we use uh, the time marks or the time expressions at the moment. For a few weeks, for a couple of months, uh, these days. For annoying habit, العادات المزعجة. Uh, you're forever losing your keys or forgetting your keys. And here we use always, forever, continually, constantly. Uh, definite future plans, اللي هي الخطط أو الترتيبات التي that indicates the future, التي تدل على المستقبل. I'm meeting my father tomorrow. سوف أقابل والدي غدا. And here we use the time expressions tomorrow, later. Uh, at uh, 7 p.m. tonight on Tuesday. Alamat al-zaman, time marks or time expressions. <coughs> now, al-an, at the moment fi hadhi al At the present fi al-waqt al Today, al-yawm, these days, hadhi al-ayyam. This week, hadha al-usboa. This month, hadha al-shahar. This summer, hadha al-sayf. Listen, isma, watch, انتبه, be careful, انتبه, and be quiet, كن هادي, and I've mentioned them in, um, in video number one, part one, but uh, I've mentioned them here, mentioned them here now, so it's just like it's a revision for you, in مراجعة فقط, the time marks, because I've mentioned them in video part one, لأني ذكرتهم في الجزء الأول من الفيديو. Um, these are some examples using the present continuous. Peter is reading a book now. She's listening to the radio at the moment. Both of these actions. Yeah, Peter, Peter is reading a book and she is listening to the radio. Both of them are actions that are happening at the moment of speaking. أحداث حدثوا في نفس الوقت الذي تحدثنا عن الفعل. 
Um, and here we used the time expressions. استخدمنا دلالات الزمن now and at the moment. His father is working in Rome this month. And this is a temporary action. وهو حدث مؤقت. هذا الشهر فقط. His father is working in Rome. والده يعمل في روما. For this month. Only هذا الشهر. فقط في هذا الشهر. والده يعمل في روما. بعد ذلك سوف ينتهي. سوف يعود إلى منزله. So this is a temporary. مؤقت. Temporary action. حدث مؤقت. Mary is going to a new school next term for future arrangements. Uh, we said الترتيبات ولكن الحدث سوف نقوم به في المستقبل القريب. That's why and here we use next term. الفصل القادم. Mary is going to a new school next term. Mary سوف تنتقل إلى مدرسة جديدة في الفصل القادم. Andrew is always coming late. I don't like this. This is something annoying. Repeated action which are irritating to the speaker. And we use here always, constantly, forever, and continuing. How did you know that this is annoying? I put in brackets the word I don't like this. لا أحب هذا الشيء أو لا أحب هذا الفعل. Anyway, being late or coming late. Andrew is always coming late. Andrew دائما يأتي في وقت متأخر. وتكرار قدومه بوقت متأخر أصبح شيء مزعج. And here we use the word always with the present continuous to indicate that this is uh, a repeated action which is irritating to the speaker or which is annoying to the speaker. No شيء مزعج للشخص الذي تحدث عن هذا الشيء. That's it for today, my dear students. Um, I hope to see you soon, inshallah. Uh, take care and bye-bye.